Big scratching. Okay. <laughs> Some new decoration by the house. Hey, nice to see y'all again. We got some snow. Dad's looking at me like I'm weird. I make YouTube videos. I talk to a camera. Okay, kind of chilly out. A little bit of a breeze. We're supposed to get about seven to ten inches. I think we ended up getting more like five. That's still a lot though, right? We're gonna get chores rolling. We're gonna do a little snow blowing. Everyone loves that, right? Hopefully, if it's not too windy, we're gonna start a fire because fires are fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's do some farming. So since we brought the cows back home in the last video, we got four four loads to feed every morning. And it could be five, but we do split one load between two pens. It's kind of what you do in the winter, you just feed cattle. Not too much else going on, except today, we gotta move some snow. We're gonna start a fire. <laughs> except if you're not new here, you know Dad and I, for some reason, are just horrible at starting fires. It takes a lot of gasoline, a lot of diesel, and a lot of tries. Oops, sometimes I look back and I'm like, why isn't he dumping? It's because I didn't start the PTO yet. Sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. I like to reiterate, remind, and there's also new people watching every week. So we raise Black Angus cattle mostly. We also buy a number of feeders to feed throughout the winter and resell once they're bigger. So every morning, 365 days a year, we're feeding cattle. We gotta pull this tractor out, the loader out, load up some feed. We got three main ingredients. We got ground hay, which is a mixture of uh, some type of grass, usually a brome or an intermediate wheat grass, and also alfalfa. We got some silage over here, which is usually sorghum, sometimes some corn silage. And then we got cracked corn, which is corn that was cracked. Yeah, we mix those together. We also got some soybean meal, kind of like a multivitamin almost, you could say, with rumensin, which is which makes the rumen more efficient. It actually reduces the amount of butyrate produced in the rumen, which is an inefficient gas, which is a gas that is inefficient when it, that it, it's not very efficient. Poor, e, poor efficiency. So they gain better with that. It's a pretty important thing. It saves a lot of money for the consumers and us producers. So I think it's butyrate anyway. I don't know, I went to school for a while. A lot of people ask us why we use the loader. Well, I guess my answer would be that's how dad always did it. I feel like we get around with it pretty decent and it holds a good amount. I know a lot of people say you should use a skid loader, but like they can get around with the skid loader a lot better. Some people actually use a payloader, but we don't, number one, have a payloader, plus our feed wagon's not that big, so we don't we don't really need a payloader. Kind of curious, comment below what you guys use to feed in the morning. Do you use a tractor loader, skid loader, maybe something like a, what are those one thing called? Telehandler? Ooh, you guys use a telehandler? That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. Hi. How you doing? Sorry if I'm throwing too much information at you. I just feel really informative today. In a little bit, we'll just start snow blowing and instead of the constant drone in my voice, it'll be the constant drone of machines. Yeah. Remember we got waters around. I need like a hat with something that sticks out in front of me and dangles and says, You have waters running. I think we got a bad problem going on. One bred heifer standing in the back, her tail's up, and she's sniffing the ground a little. She, she's kind of acting like she's calving. She thinks she had a calf or something, but they're, you know, she could she could be three months early, anywhere from two to three months early, and that wouldn't be good. So. She started walking up. I mean, every everybody else is up. And she took a couple steps, act like she was coming, and then she started sniffing the ground again. And her tail is slightly up still. Let's see if you guys can see it. You see it's not flat against her body. Hopefully she didn't abort it. Not seeing anything in the snow, but she's she's just acting weird. Number is 940. See her tail's up? She's 
as you saw Ellie, and now she's running back to where she thinks she had a calf. Gosh, dang it. It's probably not gonna be, it's not gonna end well. We'll get this last load of feed done and then we'll head back out there. She went, you guys can't see it, but she's sniffing the ground. That just gives you a bad feeling. All that time, beautiful heifer. We'll head back out there, put the side by side and see what's up. Last load is ready. I better check some waters though. Uh, that should, nah. Just dribbling out of there. Well, it looks like that girl came up to eat. I don't know, I don't, I don't have much hope in that one. Just the way she acted. You didn't see that. What kind of voodoo stuff are they doing to me right now? Making circles, it's freaking me out. Find anything back there? We'll set a couple waters off, see if we can find that, uh, see if we can find a calf. Kind of want to know if it did it or not. If we need to, if we can leave her out there, if she's gonna calve at normal time, or if she's got a problem. Be a situation where the calf isn't alive inside of her, and then she could get an infection, and so we just kind of got to know what's going on. Hey, get back in there. You got out, you can get back in. That's a close one. This way. Fairly large bag. bag. I mean, you know, the only other thing would be is if somehow a bull got with her before we're going to breed him, but we didn't see that. Do you think we should get her up? Yeah. Put her in the barn? Yeah. Okay. I assume since she keeps walking around and sniffing, she hasn't had something that she thinks is a calf, otherwise she'd be staying around there, so. The only thing is if it's, you know, it could be fairly small and you didn't see it if, but she's wandering, she's not going back to the same uh -huh. time, so should we open those gates and then I'll get on a four-wheeler quick. Yikes. Looks like I better come back here with a snowblower. A four foot drift right there. We're gonna chase her up, she's in the back corner. Get her up into the barn. In the case that that calf actually comes out alive, it's not gonna be good for it to hit the snow. So it's hopefully by some stretch of luck, it's alive, I don't know. She's obviously been in labor for a while since she's been looking for it. So it's just not looking good. That's the best I can do. Anything to tie it, you'll have to wrap it. Good time to use the yankum rope. Been a while since we've used the yankum rope. If you want one of those bungee ropes, links down below. Use Sunny Farms 5 for 5% off. I'm gonna get that heifer pushed up into the barn. Probably come out get her some feed because she hasn't ate much today. And then we got some snow blowing, some snow to move. Hey, well, let me check the oil. Uh, I guess. When did you say the uh, the back surgeon was coming? I said when? This weekend. A fellow from Missouri? I think it was started with an M. Is coming to pick up the free tractor giveaway tractor, which he bought at the on on uh, on an auction. I can't talk good. Back surgeon or something. Something cool like that. Smart guy, he's got a few cows. Anyway, so that's gonna be out of here soon. I sent the check off to Pam Doddridge last week which is of course going to the FFA in her area. Yeah, there's snow back here. I guess I could probably come in with a skid loader and blow that over that way. I'll bring this cow up and then we'll get moving some snow. One thing we like to keep clear is this, since we obviously send a lot of cattle down, up and down it, and we gotta walk up and down it. Yeah, she's got a little, we call it string hanging out. Ellie, calm down. She coming. She does have a little bit of a bag. 
Oh, okay. Now we can watch her better. Get her a nice ration. Some Dakota Gold Pro pellets. See, she's pushing. <sighs> All right, one last thing before we get moving some snow, snow blowing. The snow blower is right there, should be ready to go. It's pretty sweet, it's got some functions. You're gonna be really wowed when you check them out. I should probably run over, turn the water on for my cows over on the corn stacks, and then while I'm snow blowing, that can be filling up. All that dirt don't help. Uh, looks like this dirt's an issue. And it's nice and frozen. Looks like she's ready to roll. For some reason I just got a massive hankering for some Papa Murphy's pizza. So like I said, we got some sweet features on this thing. We get her going. We got our two levers over here. This bottom one adjusts the tilt on the top there. And then the other one rotates. Oh, pretty awesome. We got this snowblower about two years ago. It's probably our most expensive attachment. Uh, other than the hammer, the hammer was pretty expensive. We really like this because it doesn't shear any bolts. When it gets tough, since it's hydraulic, it just slows down and then it's petering out the top there. You just gotta back up, let it speed back up and then then you're ready to roll. the winter I'll clean this thing out I don't know how many times so sometimes it won't even snow it'll just blow back in so we always have tons of wind here in South Dakota and so it just drifts back in it's really important because just like today when we have a problem cow we chase them up through here to get them up and so we need this pretty clear and then not only that once we start bringing cows to pasture cows and calves to pasture this is where we sort them up at and but we also like to get as much snow out of here as possible so it's not wet it's nice and dry So I forgot my phone in the, uh, I think the gator, and I've been thinking, ah, oh, it's not too big of a deal, except the fact that I set a timer on that phone to shut the water off over there for the cows. Yeah, I better go check on that. I cannot see very well. Uh-huh. Would you look at that? Had plenty of time. Well, I guess the mailbox is open. No Reese's. Dang it. Talking about this heifer over here, she's not making any progress. I don't know what to think about it. She's still she's still pushing every once in a while. I don't suppose we want all that snow in there either. I don't know if the skid lower will fit under there. Did I have much clearance? Well, it's almost supper time. How you doing, girl? Ah, oh, poor thing. She's got goo, her tail's up. I don't know. Here's ready. We're gonna go eat. It's not too windy. I think we'd be able to burn what we want to burn. Ellie wants to go back outside. She loves the snow. Big fan. <laughs> Gasoline adds a little excitement. This is gonna be fun.
You can see ahead. That calf is not, not good. Cool. At least she's making progress. After we start this fire, we'll see if she's making more progress, and if she's not, then we'll end up pulling it. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> so right there is a supposed to be a hole. About a month and a half ago, Dad and I were cleaning up some old trees, dead trees that were piled up. And we had this hole here that we've been farming around, so we dumped them in the hole. And now, today, we were planning on burning the hole so we could cover it back up and we could farm over it. But it looks like snow drifted and filled the hole. So yeah, that ain't gonna work good. It's probably gonna be a waste. But at least we got some diesel fuel and gasoline, so there might be a cool explosion. <laughs> Dad's laughing. <laughs> we also brought some hay. Kind of burn for a while and try to light other stuff. That is some deep snow. We're happy that the snow was here because it's been pretty dry and so we didn't think we were gonna start other, stu other stuff on fire. I feel like we won't really even be able to start this stuff on fire. It's a pretty deep hole. There's a lot of trees in it. Yeah, I bet people think we're idiots. Rightfully so. What if it what if it burns? That would be awesome. It was a big hole, rather a large hole. And there's a lot of tree, a lot of wood in here to fill that hole. And we thought it'd burn. I have made fire. That feels nice. We're in Jamaica. <laughs> Dad, smile. It's for Instagram. Nice. I guess next week we can come back and light it again, huh? It might be burning yet next week, too. If it gets them trees down in there, it can burn a long time. Yeah. Got some heat to it. Yeah, it does. Well, I, I got a feeling, Dad, that we need to go pull a calf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big snow drifts along that fence there. Yeah, that'll be wet next spring. Uh-huh. I suppose we could have brought along this old dump truck tire since the co-op didn't want to plug it. I don't know. That probably would have burned for a while. Burned hot. Let's see what she's up to. Oh. It looks like she got it out. Well, I see... I see four hooves. She pushed it out by herself, but that calf was way premature. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. She got it out. It's really small and not living yep. but at least she got it out on her own yep i think she would have been a good mother yep. Yep. looking it off yep. too bad too because it looks like she'd have had milk but that cat's way too young mm -hmm. Darn it. he's stuck <laughs> i can hear him go god <laughs> i'll pick it okay does he not have four-wheel drive on that I thing don't know. It does, it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, you're on candy camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. There we go. Yeah, see ya. He was picking up a check from uh, for some seed business. I can't form a sentence right now. Come on. When dad gets back, he bought 15 calves, I think. They got some bales in the bale feeder. They got water. Then we're gonna put that girl out with them so she's got some friends and... I'm sure those cows need some more water. I'll turn that on for a bit. Other than that, we're about to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm talking yeah. One of the worst things, when a cow, especially a heifer, dumps her calf early, it's one side of it. We can say, well, we couldn't really do anything about it, but you know, it's nice to actually have the opportunity to, to mess up or make things right. But we're into January here and February, we're gonna start pushing out some calves out of these uh, first calf heifers. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.